Last time we got out into the real middle of nowhere, fell behind by 10 miles, and then started to claw it back. We now rejoin at the beginning of day six. Good morning. You can't see a thing. It is still pre-sunrise. I'm just kind of starting to be able to see here. It really reminds me of my very early running days. I used to I used to have terrible trouble sleeping and I would go to bed each night at kind of do you hear that owl? I would stay up all through the evening, just as the light got to this kind of level. I would head out and run. Today is different because I have slept. The sun's about to come up. There is something a little mysterious, a little spooky about that kind of light. And the sky is bright, but everything isn't lit. Like everything's a shadow. Wow, that's a beautiful flower, bud. Wow, get my snores in there. See, the thing is, I don't know which ones smell. I know some flowers smell nice and some don't smell like anything at all. I don't know which ones are the smelly ones and which ones aren't. Very pretty, very quiet country roads. I just feel like I'm out on a on a nice meander with my nan somewhere, except like 40 times over. Properly standing down here, I tell you every morning, every day I, I make the decision to avoid the A roads and I see that daily mileage tick up by a few miles as a consequence. And I'm like, ah, and then I get out on these smaller side roads and I'm just always so grateful to have done it that way. It is beautiful out here. The River Y is running alongside me here, moving through this classic British woodland. Just before I started you, I was walking like this and from one of these branches on my right hand side, the most beautiful falcon just swoops down. Incredible creature. Look at those leaves coming down there. This is apparently an ancient coach road. I love these old stone walls coated in moss. It's splendid, there's spray paint here. What's in there? What are you spray painting towards? Something in here? Nothing in there that anyone with reasonably sized hands could read. Maybe something once was there. One of those wonderful mysteries I'll never know. Is the thing. So, maps reckons I need to go that way and go like a mile around here to come back to here. And they think this footpath ends in just a minute. I, on the other hand, have faith that if I just kind of walk, I'm hoping proximity to the river, maybe I have to get a little creative, but I can just kind of cut through this way, save myself a mile. So as predicted, this road ends, goes into a field with lots of little sheep, but I think if I just dart straight down that way, I'll be, I'll be back on the road in no time. I just try not to scare these sheep too much. I stay really quiet and the dewy this looks like a pear i think touch of wood because i don't want to speak too soon but i think our gamble has paid off whatever was here that was a uh, reminiscent of a footpath is kind of gone just come through all that had a little bit of a swim so my socks are a little wet which is banging keeps your feet cool but that looks very pathy doesn't it this looks like an under one i'm gonna get a bit mucky here oh i'm an idiot hello you're on the wrong side of the thing. Oh, lovely. There's this nice flat bit up here. Looks like it used to be an old road. Obviously no one's used it in a long time. Lots of fallen trees, but I can definitely make a lot better headway here. Wow, that is old, old, old. But this is lovely. Yeah, this must have been a road, surely. Bits like this, just so easy. Oh, do we trust it? Hold my breath, clench real tight. Easy. Ah, that's slightly problematic there. Would have been wise of me to look forward. Oh, I love thistles. I'm usually quite positive. That was a bit of classic English sarcasm there for you. Um, because I actually don't love thistles. I find this to be mildly unpleasant. Ah, ah, bugger. Ah, you're all right, big man. Unprecedented success. We actually worked off, I think, about 10 minutes on my off my ETA there. Um, was it efficient in terms of energy? No. Bloody brilliant though, isn't it? Pretty much all my this morning was I came down here. They wanted me to go around here. Yeah. Yes. I didn't fancy it, so I just, <laughs> just, come, down, just come down here. <laughs> all right. It's a pity, really, that they couldn't do the Y Valley Walk all over the river because actually oh. this stretch from Ryder to Bill, way back from the river in many yes. places, you yeah. don't even yeah. see the river. Well, it's, it's passable. Yeah. If, if you're feeling yeah. adventurous, it is yeah. passable. You might get wet boots. And, and what's the chance, what's it, what's it, what you're getting money for? Fauna Flora International. Would you mind tell the people to go justgiving.com forward slash toes out? Right. You tell them. Toes out. Toes out. <laughs> <laughs> toes out. GoPro's feeling a little knackered, so you're going a bit shaky. Stopped because felt a little achy in the feet. 
had a check, socks were sodden, so rang him out a bit. Lovely woman from the uh, National Wales Resource, something, something, something. Uh, gave me a towel to try and get some of the moisture out of them. Also, I'm on this lovely road, so the A470 is there, right next to me. And then I assume this is the old road. The only difference is, um, is this road now has no one on it. So it's almost mossy in the middle from uh, the fact that no one's used it. I've cracked this here, got my socks hanging. I'm having a bit of a tod on the bears. And look at that, I'm the clothes hanger. Feeling super dry, super fly. Back to the A roads, which is fine because there's a nice bit of pavement on this one. People are absolutely flying down it a million miles an hour, which you'd think I wouldn't like. But today, the advantage of that is they're making wind and they're drying my socks. So thank you very much. Everyone speeding on the A470 today, you've successfully functioned as my dryer, um, especially the big, big lorry drivers. Watch this, you ready? He whistles past and in the wind. Bam, sorted. Oh. They were chucked away um, today because, as you say, we don't normally sell them. You just have to take them. They're dry. That's perfect. That's spot on. That's amazing. How much do I owe you? That's fine. We wouldn't sell them. Free socks. Absolute hero. Thank you so much. Oh, we got socks, you b****. That's a win. They're women's and they're also super long. But a sock's a sock is a sock is a sock is a sock. So. Oh, look good, look at that. Brilliant. Susie. This is Susie of Bell and Bluebell, by the way. You angel. That lemon drizzle cake was immaculate. It was so good. So I've just been walking along here with my socks tied and an entire lemon drizzle cake in one hand, just munching on it. Um, I lost a good chunk of time to get in new socks. I'm gonna have to claw it back, but nice downhill, relatively flat stretch running along the side of the, the valleys as opposed to up and over them. Skirt a bit off that, see how far along we can make it today. The last day has a huge amount of cushion for things going bad, but I'd really like to get a lot of it done today and tomorrow and so I can enjoy the last day a little more and bid this wonderfully terrible idea um, that has been some of the most entertaining days a goodbye. Am I a joke to you? 25%? These hills, they never end. Woo! I'm loving it. Hello. Windy up here, isn't it? You guys are very curious about me. I am. Oh, ho, 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 hello. Look over there. See ya. Mountain number two. It's good to have her in sight. Why they call them the beacons? Buddy, he has got his head stuck. I flag him down, get the sheep out, expected him to get out of a set of bolt cutters. Man, he just mounted the sheep, kind of like jerked it out. Welsh action hero. Swing in to save the day. I'm stopping here in the lovely little town of Brecon. Appropriate, because tomorrow I attempt a Brecon beacon. Tomorrow, I think realistically I can do maybe another 29, 30, but that's, it's good. 30 yesterday and 30 today means that the next two days I have 47 miles to do, which is very achievable. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. I'm kind of sad it's all coming to an end. Bish bash bosh, up the hill, down the hill, and then however much more until uh, until we pull in home. It's coming to a close. Today, long, but nice. One more big one. I have officially ran out of clothes, so I do smell pretty bad. Eat <laughs> my flapjack. Toddle on through Brecon. We got about five miles to the summit of Penavan. Then 10 coming down the other side and into uh, Merthyr Tidville. And then squeeze out as close to Pontypridd as I can. If we do 28, kind of my realistic hope. And then that means tomorrow is 22 to finish off, which is easy. 22, come on, we do that in our sleep now. Trickling our way up through the woods to the base of the mountain. Incredibly lush here. I have a tour group behind me who I passed earlier and then I stopped for a minute. Now they're on my tail. So that's exciting, right? Cause I got to uphold the pace. Can't let them catch me. We'll have a race. Oh, I just met Mark here. Going up the mountain. Mark's raising money for Mental Health UK, was yes, it? Yes, 20 mile hike. Uh, these guys are all heading up raising money today. But Mark is just very kindly sponsored me for 20 pounds. It's up to you. Well, you're out doing well, charity work and give charity what you're doing. Well, it's a fraction of what you're doing. So, well, well done. It's lovely to meet you, Mark. Bye guys. See you later. Bye now. 
Where's the hill? Ha ha ha. That looks familiar. Why does that look familiar? Because, God bless you, Mark. I dropped you 20 pounds within 100 yards of you giving it to me. So I ran back and grabbed that. Nice little cheeky extra quarter mile. It was in a puddle, but luckily, all this plasticky money, waterproof, in it? Bit drizzly, very misty, so I'm not seeing a lot of view. Here's a story for you. When I was a boy, maybe eight, maybe February or March, and the top was all frozen over, there was a big snowstorm. And so when I made it up here, all the ground was like compacted ice from all the people who had walked in it and stamped it down. It was, and I watched a guy slip near the summit and slide all the way down the side of the mountain. Now, I think he was fine, but it gave me a terrible fear of heights for years that I didn't really overcome until I was 15 or 16. I was real. Real bad with heights. I can remember being at the top of a death slide. Terrible name for an activity for children, by the way. Sitting there, 12, 13 years old, eight meter thing, maybe even less. Little girl, she's like half my age, just whizzed straight off it, but I I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. The years passed and I got a job as an outdoor instructor. And then you, you want to make a living, you got to get used to height. It's appropriate this mountain is so near the end for me because even though it is barely a mountain, it's a big old hill. This is the place where one of my worst fears was born. And that makes it really satisfying to hoof it on up it and to say, hey, there you go. All right, lovely. So second mountain now, which I am feeling very elated about. Quick maths is now something like 170 miles in. Both mountains ticked off. Bye, everybody. All right, I've got this slot here on the fourth day. Yeah. Yeah. So like fourth, fourth day of D and E. D, D, D of E. <laughs> well done, you lot. Like, do, do me a little favor before I go. Ask people to go to justgiving.com forward slash toes out. Uh, go to justgiving.com forward slash toes out. That was amazing, wasn't it? That was brilliant. Thank you guys. Thanks, right? Godspeed. Very good buns. Miraculously easy to get uh, people who are still in school to say things in synchronicity. Definitely owe that one to years and years of good morning, everyone. If I heard someone start that melodic chant, I think I'd probably still join in to be <laughs> Lovely lot. There's a lot up here doing DV today. It's funny, I spoke to those guys and I said, well, I think you're winning. And they said, we're not, we're an hour behind. And I laughed because there was another group that I passed maybe a mile behind them who as i passed them and oh boys i think we might be winning very uh, very funny to see humongous things really lovely very calm very peaceful very unbothered by me. There's proper, proper forest I'm coming into here now. I'm quite excited to walk through it. Love a bit of woodland. Some of the best running I've had has been in woodlands here. Now we're on this side of the mountain. I think it's fair to say we're pretty definitively in South Wales. Pretty corking good. I'm ready to round her off now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tired, but it is so beautiful here. But I'm going to miss stuff like that. Misty and foggy as it is. I had a beautiful clear day going up Snowdon, and so I'm quite excited. Woo! But unsurely footed apparently. What am I trying to say? I essentially, I like that it's foggy. It gives me a nice range of, of weather. Although the only thing I haven't had, touch wood we don't, is um, really heavy rain or hail or snow. It's been clear, foggy and drizzly and very sunny. Those are all the nice ones, I like that. Nearly back to civilization here now. Just a bit of a toddle through the woods I think and be well on the way to Mer. It's the old Brecon Railway, if I remember right. Feeling uh, very Harry Potter and some big pine woods, watching a, an old steam train going toot toot. Certainly enjoying it. Slightly lost. Out of the woods now, to the first village past the mountain. Hey buddy. We're getting now to what might be my last mistake of the run. Nope. Maps wants me to be on the road up there, but I saw there was a footpath running alongside it. The footpath listed it as three miles longer than I think the road, but I'd rather do three miles extra down something like this than save the mileage and be on road. Turns out this actually goes not where I want to go. 
That's pretty cool. I'm just try and walk up here. Boy, whoa, bouncing. Let's just hope there's somewhere to go from the top. Wow, this bridge makes me think there might have even been an old road. We're in the woods now, though. Keep on just kind of clambering in this direction, I'm sure. I'll come out somewhere, but that's cool. That is cool and mysterious. Why did I do this to myself? I even called that it was a poor decision. Just got miles to cover, things to do, and yet every day I find myself just wandering into the woods. Oh, so I came up out the woods there. Hold on, we might see a train in a second. Look at that. So I've just had a phone call from Dad who said he was talking to a man in the pub who's advised me to take this trail called the Taff Trail because apparently that's the quickest and easiest way there. So that is the one I was just on and I've just clambered out the woods to get off. So even though I hate doubling back on myself, I'm doubling back on myself. Oh, this is what we've been missing. Look at it. Mossy top, kind of do this old thing and it's a little springy. Just coming out of Murr. The Taff Trail is a little meandering, so I've made pretty terrible progress. All right, yeah, I got distracted big star. Gotta get to have a van, which is a couple miles down the road. Really thought I had this one kind of in the bag, and then I'm like, oh, there's still some way to go. Still some way to go. Let's go it. Let's go the way. Just coming out of Aberfan. I got like 2.2 more miles, maybe half an hour's more light. That's a nice walk and a little bit of a jog every now and again. And then that makes tomorrow something in the early 20s. All right. Hello. Good morning. Finished last night here in Edwardsville. Nice little valley town. It's the last day. There is 24 miles. It's a late start today because I won't lie. I had a milky coffee. Can't do cow's milk anymore, apparently. All is happy. All is good. Let's round off the last day. 24 more miles. Ronda Cyan 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 Ta Ronda Cyan Ta Faso Think this is the last county. This is it? Maybe there isn't the natural wondrous beauty, but this, this is the place. This is the people. Ankles feeling good, knees feeling good, feet feeling good. I want someone to run with now. When you're out in the great lonely outdoors, it's very yeah. I'm on my own and I'm experiencing the wilderness and I'm learning things about myself in this in this time on my own. But this is like I'm on an industrial estate between. Earth and Pontypris. That is actually very pretty over there. Past the UK's cheapest car. That's actually quite stunning. I'm definitely being too cynical. This is beautiful. You just have to look a little harder. I'm just now coming into Pontypris, my ancestral homeland, where my dad grew up in the 70s. It's weird. It's weird to walk around a place and think 40, 50 years ago, it was a tiny version of the man who raised me wandering around these specific streets here. Don't feel like it's coming to an end. I feel like I'm doing another 200 immediately after, but happy as it's nice. I thought these great bloody hills were done with. Thought they were over, but they're not. They don't give up. This might be the last one. I'm optimistic. Lovely views. Lovely, lovely views. Past Pontypridd now. We're on to the home stretch in towards Roos and the southernmost point of Wales. Almost there now. Almost there. Last hill. Goodbye, hills. One of the things about being here where there's things and people, there's not just one road. What was really nice about being out in the middle of nowhere, 14 miles in a straight line, fantastic, brilliant. But here, you know, it's half a mile, then a left, then a right, straight across the roundabout, then the next roundabout, you take the third exit, and then when you're opposite the garage, make the left and the right again, then over the bridge, under the tunnel. Ah, oh, just keep having to stop and check my phone. Losing my flow. Best part about doing stuff like this is you run for a little while and your brain wanders and you come up with just some utterly entertaining rubbish. Real nonsense, but it really makes me giggle. The downside of being out in the country is there was no one to talk to, whereas here, there is just piles of people. It's not great for my pace, because I'm having a lot of chats. I just met a lovely German Shepherd, and he was huge. And the woman said that he, he wasn't huge, he was small for a German Shepherd. Have I never seen a full-size German Shepherd before? Because this looks like big. Anyway, I'm talking to lots of people, and I'm checking directions a lot, so I'm going a little slower. We've only got something like... 13 more miles for the whole thing. I'm enjoying each and every one, that's what it is. Oh, big stretch. You guys scratch me if I say hello. Hello, you sweet baby. What's wrong? Are you also upset about the M4s? That's what's happening here. What are you gonna do though? 
Yeah, I know. Anyway, I gotta get on. You look busy too, so. Okay, but goodbye now. I've come through Miskin, quite nice. I can hear the roar of the M4. That means we are approaching the underpass, get through there, and then it should just be a lovely bunch of small roads. Last little stretch now, and we're ticking on. This whole area is kind of sports utility vehicle, Kath Kitson scar kind of spot. The sun is shining. I am into single digit miles remaining, but I'm, I'm feeling the effects of the last few days. Is that sea, do you think? I can't actually tell, it could be hills. I don't think it is, maybe it is. Whereas that way, supposedly sea. Oh my God. How can I help you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> they think I'm gonna feed them, they've all gone quiet now. Goodbye, all. We thought we'd had the last big hill, but haha. -ha. A new challenger has presented itself. Oh, my feet are in. Clip, they're not good. I think they know that I'm near the end and so they're not worried about feeling bad anymore. They're like, fine, you only got a few miles left, make them hurt. Just about to come over the top of here and then I think it's a little bit of a B road, then around the airport, half a mile through Roos and then down to the water where I will promptly place my feet into its cold and salty hands. I see the sea, imagine it's down this way, that seems about right, let's try this. Well that's the sea, where's the point? Okay, got excited, took the wrong beach exit, we gotta go this way. <laughs> it's that, isn't it? Bloody beautiful. My feet firmly planted in the ocean. There is nothing south of me here as there was nothing north of me up there. It's been a very long, a very, very long uh, eight days to get here. Thank you for coming along and I hope that um, I've been able to showcase some of what is worth saving both in this part of the world and not. If you haven't had a look at it already, uh, it's justgiving.com forward slash uh, toes out. As I sit here now, based on what is on there and what I've received in cash from people as I've been heading around, it's about a thousand pounds. So I'm so, so happy with that. And to think about the difference that might be able to make um, brings me some joy. But if you're watching this now, the, the Just Giving page is still open, 200 miles for the sake of my poor feet, if nothing else. Go and have a look. And um, yeah, thank you very much for coming.